Hey fellow YouTubers, blacksmiths, and pipe smokers, this is Thor's Revenge coming to you from my personal blacksmith shop. It's a nice little shop, I really like it and I enjoy using it when I'm not at my teacher's shop down in Durango. For any of you wondering, I am smoking Froggy on the Town in my Diplomat Corn Cob by Missouri Meerschaum, of course, with a Forever Stem by Walker Briarworks. And I've gone out, so I better go relight. Now I just wanted to come to you today uh, because I was on Pipes and Cigars the other day just shopping around and I came across their uh, pipe accessories page and their artisan pipe tampers. And on this page there were several pipe tampers by an artist and they were made out of what they're calling wrought iron. And they were hand forged and being a blacksmith I was quite interested in these. And, but the price on them of $40 seemed a little high to me. I didn't think for what they were and their size, $40 was uh, a little much in my opinion. Now we all have check tools and every kind of pipe tamper you can imagine lying around our, our houses, our shops, anywhere we smoke. I know I do, I have tons of them. But my favorite one, as I will show you as I walk, is this one. Made for me by my blacksmithing teacher. And in, our sh in his shop down in Durango, we have tons of these just lying around. Both ones with the dottle spoon scraper, as well as ones that have a bottle opener on the end for when we have a beer after work or something like that. And to me, that type of pipe tamper seems far more appealing than a $40 pipe tamper from Pipes and Cigars. Yes, they're pretty and all, but I don't know about their functionality. If they are truly made of wrought iron, uh, you fellow blacksmiths will know what I'm talking about when I say actual wrought iron then they're totally worth 40 bucks. But if they're not wrought iron and they're just hand forged, then in my opinion, that's a little pricey. So the other day I went out into my shop and I made six of them. Six different ones, different styles, and I wanna know what you fellow YouTubers think of them. I wanna know what features you guys would like to see in a, um, more artistic pipe tamper as com as compared to the classic check tool or pipe nail that we see all the time. What features would a artisan pipe tamper have in your opinion? And let me know what you think of these. Uh, these are gonna be lying around my shop and my house and at some point I may choose to give away several of these because I intend to continue making more just to see what I can do with them and I will take your comments and opinions and hopefully come up with a artisan pipe tamper that has all of the features that us pipe smokers would like to see. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. So let me know what your opinion is and what you think about them and post down in the comments, send me a video response, anything you want to do. I'm back fellow YouTubers one last time because as I was walking out from my shop the mailman arrived with something all of us love to see a box and this one happens to be from pipesandcigars.com now I know what's in it but still let's open her up 
and I'll show all of you real quick. Go on sale. A bunch of packing material. Matches. Always good to have on hand. And the good stuff. McClellan number 5110 Dark English. Now I just got an ounce of this stuff because I want to try it out because I've heard that it is essentially the bulk version of either straight Frog Morton or Frog Morton on the Town. Both of which I enjoy thoroughly and if I can get it in bulk and slightly cheaper than at my local tobacconist, that would be amazing. And along with it was something I just had to try just because it sounded good. And it smells amazing. Altadis Voodoo Queen. Just an ounce of it as well so I can try it out and see if I like it. And if I do, I will hoard it much, much more. <laughs> Alright everybody, that's all for this vid. And again, keep them lit. <laughs>